customers want to have faster access to their information. They want to make sure that all their equipment are seamless, operate seamlessly, um, that they have access to apps so they can monitor their energy consumption. So there is a lot of disruption happening in the market from a digital standpoint, but also from an energy source standpoint. I think we will see more automation being embedded into the system itself. Uh, there is a concern about the flat revenues that utilities are experiencing because a lot of the energy efficiency um, standards have come into play which uh, encourages customers to reduce their energy consumption whether it's through power containment programs like demand response. So I think utilities are looking to kind of branch out and see how can we retain these customers by offering better automation but also by reducing their own operating costs by embedding all this automation and, and intelligence to their system itself. So I see that happening. I see that um, Utilities are going to be branching out and evaluate what other services that they can offer, whether it's um, solar panels as a service, whether it's microgrid as a service. I think they'll, we'll see them branching out more and more into those areas, not just as a company that uh, takes care of their assets, as a company that takes care of the power lines, um, that of course will remain one of their key um, concerns to make sure that the, the power lines don't go down and to make sure that uh, the system is uh, up to date. But I think um, they will be evaluating what other services they can offer to, to customers. Um, a very interesting movement we're seeing in this space is what's referred to as zero net energy. So what we're seeing is that um, buildings are being incentivized, actually new buildings are being incentivized by the year 2020 and to the year 2030 to have all new residential buildings uh, be zero net energy. So essentially the insulation, um, all the hardware equipment that is being deployed in the home, uh, as well as embedding the, the intelligence would allow the consumer by the end of the year to come to a zero net energy. So it would only be consuming as much energy that it will actually be needing. Well, Franz Sullivan has a fairly broad coverage. We don't look at technologies in isolation. We oftentimes look at in terms of the convergence that is happening in this market. And I think that's what the type of strength that we bring into this space is because we actually follow very closely. We have a whole complete separate practice on autom in um, the automotive industry, for instance. And we have a completely separate industry that um, tracks ICT, meaning information communication technology. So we look at it from a more holistic standpoint. We work across all these different verticals to understand what kind of implications this has to the energy space or whether it's the healthcare space. So we do follow very closely the convergence across these verti different vertical markets. And I think that's the kind of a strength that we bring in. We're so broad and we're such a large organization that we don't look at each technology or the implications in silos. It's actually from a convergence, more convergence standpoint.